Morning everyone, MJZ Kitchen and Bathrooms here. What I am going to do today, I'm going to show you how to change your pop-up waste. Very easy, very quick, very simple. This is a waste, I always use silicone for my waste and I silicone them all. I silicone this waste on, um, on Friday, so I'm just going to show you how to change it with the silicone. So you just take that off, take your waist off. It will have water in it. It's got water in it. So you stand that up in the corner. Yeah? Now I've silicone that on and people say, oh, how do you get that off? How do you do that? It's very easy, very simple. I'm gonna show you. Big pair of movies. Movies on there. Don't grip it too tight, because these are plastic nuts. No, we don't want to snap it. Wow, look at that. Easy. Do you know what I mean? Easy. I'm not, I'm not actually going to swap this. I'm just going to show you how, how to swap it with, when you've done it with silicone. And if you just unscrew it like that, and it's like this, I ain't stopped it. I won't edit it. So you can see the silicone just rubbing off there. Use a good quality silicone, you won't, you'll never have a problem with it. Trust me. I'm like a doctor for plumbing. You know what I mean? In fact, some say I'm better than a doctor than plumber. Because at least me, you can get hold of. <laughs> so, now that is fixed in. So, uh, because I've siliconed it in, yeah? Get your grips. Get them on. Watch this. Now we've unbolted it. Nice and gentle. Just twist. Twist it. That's all you have to do. Twist it. Push it up. That's it. Waste out. Very easy. Very simple. Silicone in. Then, what we do, get your Stanley knife. Scrape the old silicone off. This is a, um, a towel leaf, please. Then make sure it's dry. Clean all the bits off. <clears throat> Get your new tra uh, new um, clicker waste. I'm just putting this one back on because I'm only using this as a demo for you, for my followers. Clean it. Yeah, silicone leak. Make sure you dry the waste inside. Now I'm using a clear silicone. This is a uh, Alebrook quick curing. It's really good stuff. Buy cheap silicone, you buy twice. Trust me. Then that because that's got a nice. It's like a sponge rubber. I don't really silicone the sponge rubbers because it's nice and it, it, you know for a fact it's going if that would have been an hard rubber I would have took that off throw it, and then I would have silicone around there but because it's sponge don't bother alright get out on there Then what I do, silicone, right underneath. Make sure you get it right in, right into where the thread is. And then to make sure there's no um, water can run down that thread, silicone the top of the thread. 
all the way around. Then get your black knot, tighten your black knot up. Now because we've silicone the thread, silicone is going to work around the thread and that's going to form yourself a seal. And this is how you never have an issue with your sink. Do it nice and tight. And what I do is I get two pairs of grips. I get one pair on the metal, one pair on the nut. What you don't want to do is over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you split the nut. You split the nut, then you're at stage one. Then just clean it all off. Clean all that silicone off. With your finger, just simply wipe it off. Use a good quality seal of the silicone and it'll stay clear. Use a cheap one and it'll discolour. There we go. Now that is how you do a waste. A pop-up waste for your sink. That's how you change it. Very easy, very simple. Leave that to dry and jobs are good. Then. And then I'll show you how to do the trap. Now if this rubber, someone asked me about the rubbers being a... Uh, been um, split and the weeping. I'm going to show you how to do the rubber without messing about. I just empty the water out of this trap and then I'll be back. So what you want for this is PTFE tape. If you think that rubber's split and it's weeping from that trap, that could be several things. Might not be on properly. That trap might be bending it, and you might be having a little gap like that. Easiest way to cure it easiest and cheapest you don't need no fancy gimmicks I've been using this way for the last 20 years whenever you tape something up you always got to do so if we're screwing it that way yeah we need to be wrapping this tape round that way otherwise when you screw it it's gonna come off just start there get your finger on and then wrap it in See how nice and tight that is and flat? If you use a decent trap, you shouldn't have a problem anyway, but a lot of people don't. Whenever you think plumbing, you need to think quality. See that? Keep wrapping that round like that. And all we're doing is we're making a new washer. So if this trap don't screw onto that basin perfectly flat, because the waste in perfectly in it and it leaves a, a void all this does is this PTFE tape just tapes it up nicely so once you've snapped it off wrap it around make sure it's nice and tight see that nice and tight I'm filming on my iPad today so this is first time so nice and tight you can feel it it's like a cushion washer Put your trap on, back into this hole, tighten it up, nice and tight, not too tight because you don't want to split the rubbers, right, see that, now you see that waste pushing there, now you can see how that waste is formed, it's own mould onto this PTFE tape, then you screw that up like that, Keep turning it, don't try and push it up. Just keep turning it up. Make sure you don't um, cross thread it. Turning it up like that. You want it tight, but not over tight. Make sure the bottom's tight. Make sure that's tight. And there we go. One waste, which will never leak. Beautiful. No leaks, never leak, never weep, 
never won't. Bish bash bosh MJC. That's how we change a waste. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like. Thank you.